Good morning, this is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market doesn't open up for about an hour and 15 minutes. However, there's some decent action here on AKRX. I have an order out there, so maybe I'll be able to capture some pre-market trading here. Um, you never know, especially like I said, when there's literally over an hour until the market even opens. So I'll do my best to capture the entry point. I mean, I'm working on customer service stuff and lots of other stuff at this point in the day. So I'm not gonna be watching it like a hawk, uh, but if it does look like I'm gonna get filled, then yeah, I'll try to capture some pre-market trading. So we'll see what happens. If I don't do anything, then I'll just see you back at the market open. Market opens up here in less than a minute now. Nothing ever came out of uh, AKRX. Have a bunch of fishing orders out here. The market is now open. So I'll do my best to capture these, but obviously with multiple orders out here, it's gonna be hard. The chart over here is MNK, and then on the level twos, you're watching TTPH. So we'll see uh, what happens, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause, and uh, I'll get the video rolling if it's looking like I'm gonna get a fill. All right, AKRX coming to life here. Uh, but never mind, I just got some filled here on MNNK. So let me put out an order there. And then also throw out some more to try to build a bigger position here. So let me do 20, there we go. Got several out there. So we'll see if I can get some shares at 2025. Nice, got those. Got those. Let's see if I can get some more up here in the 60s. Try to get some at 55 too. So 1500 shares, I'd like to get more than this, especially it's you know barely a $20 stock. So let's see what it wants to do here. Again, my average is at 20, 15. Nice. I'm gonna go up here above 21. There we go. Putting out some buy orders looking like I'm gonna be able to get some up here above 21. Try for some at In fact, I may start to try to ramp up the size here. Uh, it's pulling back here a little bit here. Have some at 2030. So we'll see if it wants to break down through there. I need to get this alerted. There we go. Let's see if it can push down through 2030. That's kind of the key level. trying, but as you saw, it's just sitting right there. All right, I got some out at 2030. So I was able to get a little position, a little bit of my position out. Let's see if we can get a further push down through 2030. I'm gonna put another allotment up there at 2030. 
because you got to give credit where credit's due. This area is acting pretty, pretty strong right now. Now it's kind of just pausing around a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause while it's just kind of hovering around here. All right, it's back down here into the 30s. Okay, I got, well, 14 of those out at 2030. So this one is just toying with me down there. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. All right, coming down here to this area once again. But as you've seen, 2030 is that very stubborn area. And back there, up above 2040. All right, it's nearing it again. And once more, you can see this is, uh, this 2030 is definitely that key area that needs to, uh, that needs to fall here. So we'll see what happens. All right, got some more up here at 2095. Okay, nice, getting some more. Throw out some more orders down here. So let's see what it wants to do here. Try to get some more up there at 21.35 and 40. Again, just shy of 5,000 shares. Okay, I got those, got those. Looking like I'm gonna be able to really build some size here. Want to get my average up above 21 though. So my average is currently at 2094. Let's try for some on it. Some more at 45. Got those. Let's get some at 55. So my average is now up above 21. So let's get a pull back here. And let's see what happens. Please don't tell me that didn't, you got, uh, I can't tell. I, I don't, I have no idea now. I think, maybe, maybe I, oh, I'm gonna be so, I thought I hit record, um, but I don't know if I did or not. And um, so I hope I got the, the, exit of the trade, but uh, well, and now it's, oh, just a minute. Put an order out there to buy at 1975. Anyways, I am up, or I made $953 on that trade. I think the last time you saw me, I was up at 5,000 shares, but um, as you saw that one, I was able to build position, so I, I had to get uh, focused, and um, within my focus, I thought I hit record, but looking at the timestamp, I don't know if I did or not because I feel like the video should be longer than what it is right now. I need to alert this again in the chat room. I'm gonna be quite angry if I, uh, if I didn't get that. But anyways, um, I'll, I'll hope that I did. Um, if I didn't, 
like I said, I was able to build up into this movement here. All right, well, maybe I'm gonna be able to build now on the downside. Let's see if I can get some at 1975. Well, I'm that far back up it went it. So let's do 1965. But I was able to build and you can see now it is rolling back over. I tried to trail down 1500 shares, but it, it just, as you see here, this move just moved way too quickly. So I couldn't quite uh, get the logistics in place that I wanted. Um, but that's kind of the, the catch 22 when you get bigger size and then want to try to manage it and then all of a sudden the price goes in your favor. It's like, okay, you, you got to try to get things moving and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm not happy with the trade. Cause yeah, uh, 950 bucks in uh, 15 minutes. I'll take that. Shoot. All right. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on this for a pullback while wow, we're at 11 minutes, but still, yeah, I don't think I got it. So my biggest apologies, I am happy at least you got to see how I built into the position. Um, and you know, right here was the rollover. And you know, this green line represented, uh, you know, where I started to make money. And you can see here that, uh, yeah, hindsight, I could have been making a whole lot more money, but uh, good. I'm, I'm glad at least uh, you saw the most important part of the trade, which is, you know, the building in and the, the accu uh, accumulation of it rather than me just having the video and all of a sudden I'm selling out his shares. Well, where did these shares come from? At least you saw where the shares quote unquote came from in terms of the entry. But I apologize if I did not get it. Um, but like I said, let's look at the glasses half full in case uh, I didn't get it all. At least you saw where those shares came from. And the video is going on 12 minutes. So I'll just end it right here. And uh, yeah, well, uh, 950 bucks in 15 minutes. And uh, so yeah, I'm happy with that. A few final things though before I go, if you are interested in, or I, let me take a step back. If you want me to keep making these videos and you know just you enjoy them, the easiest way to do that is to click the like button on this video and then subscribe to the YouTube channel. Second, if you wanna trade alongside me and other traders, um, you know I made several alerts on this one into the chat room, so I'm assuming I'm not the only one making money on this uh, short-sided trade here. Uh, but if you want to do that, claytrader.com, look for the inner circle, and that membership costs for one year, not one month, one year, only $99, as I always say. Over the course of, you know, time span of 12 months, I am very, very confident you'll get at least $99 worth of value. And then finally, uh, if you are interested in learning how to trade with charts, I do offer online training courses on the site um, that deals with all of that. So again, you can go to claytrader.com and look into all of that and um, I'm debating, should I see if I can try to capture? All right, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll see if this pulls back a more. Well, never mind, because I'm not even interested at this point now. So I'm just gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. And again, I, I do apologize if I didn't quite get the exit point, uh, but um, I captured the entry point, which is uh, you know the important part in trades like this. So um, I'll see you back next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.